Um, so before we go live, I just have to ask, like, did you expect like to win or like, did you think like maybe next chat? Like, what was your thoughts when you were watching? Well, didn't Haley call you? Yeah. So I was watching like late on the couch watching Netflix. I put my phone down for like 30 minutes. Um, and I go back to look at it and Brian's like, Haley's FaceTiming you. I'm like, okay. So I pick it up. I'm like, it's kind of odd. And she goes, she just kind of looks at me and she's like, are you totally oblivious right now? And I'm like, what? <laughs> what? And she's like, did you watch the video? I'm like, what? <laughs> like knew something had to be going on. So then I kind of knew and then people started tagging me um so then I was kind of like skipping through your video like okay <laughs> that's awesome that is freaking awesome well I'm, I'm glad I'm glad that you got to finally watch the video <laughs> yes. uh, my goal with the uh live is just to talk about your journey like what your goals were this was your second challenge um obstacles you had to overcome just things like that um you know, not just you being a group leader, but also for our community. So I think a lot of people, I mean, I've already gotten messages of like your photos and how amazing you look and like, you look like a freaking athlete dog. Like, and I know you're ready for some ads to come in. So I think that your story is just going to inspire a lot of people, obviously being the champion, talking about all those things. So just to give you an idea. Yeah, I'm good. Sweet. All right. Let me get this ready. <laughs> awesome. It's really the only reason why you really want is because you beat me, uh, in the wall set. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, Never thought I'd do another wall set after college. <laughs> <laughs> or another burpee for that matter. It's like, I'm never doing burpees again. And here we are. And here we are, yeah. All kinds of burpees. I love some burpees. Mm. Love hate. Love hate relationship. Just typing up the description real quick. Yeah, no worries. All righty. We should be live pretty soon. I'm gonna pull this up on my phone so I can see any comments and stuff as well. Just some people might have some questions for Lindsay. Oh, I'm just so excited, Lindsay. I'm just so excited. excited. All right, it looks like we are live. What's going on, you guys? It is, uh oh, can you hear me okay? There we go. Uh, it is your boy, Roy, and the champion, Miss Lindsay, how are you doing today, Miss Lindsay? Good. I am so excited. I this is very exciting. Um, I know I already asked you this, but I'm gonna ask you one more time. Did you have any idea at all that you were gonna win this thing? Not a clue, not a clue. And I like didn't even catch the video live. Um, <laughs> so Haley FaceTimed me and she's like, she just kind of looked at me and I'm like, what's going on? She's like, go watch the video. <laughs> Yeah, that is freaking awesome. Uh, you said you were like watching Netflix. You put your phone down for like 30 minutes and all these things happen uh, while you're, of course, the one time you put your phone down, right? Right. Uh, that's freaking crazy. Um, so Lindsay, the reason why um, I want to do this live, one, not just to catch your reaction and say congratulations, but two other things. One, I wanted to uh, put this in perspective for people, you know, in our video that we announced you as a winner yesterday, my biggest thing was like, like, you're just a regular person, Lindsay, like you came in here and you, I mean, I don't want to take away from you, but you are like, you're just like me. You're just like everybody else. And you just had this dream, this goal, and you had to overcome obstacles just like anybody else. And that this could be them. And then the second thing is just, obviously, if you guys have any questions for Lindsay, uh, while we have her here, um, feel free to ask and we'll get those answered. Or even after this video is done, put some stuff in the comments and me and Lindsay will come back and answer those questions for you guys. But Lindsay, first and foremost, what I love about your journey is that you didn't just join this because you wanted to lose weight. It wasn't so much about the weight for you. So I want you to kind of talk about that. Like what made you decide to want, uh, to do a six week challenge? Yeah. Um, 
so many things. I think I just, so I was one of the people who went down the keto path and was like, it worked for me for a while, but it only worked until a certain point. Um, and I went into doctors and like, oh, I just write my regular doctor checkups. I'm like, I'm trying to still lose weight. And they're like, you might just be at like the lowest weight you're ever going to get to. And I was like, ah, I don't accept that. Like, I just don't. So, um, but also I, not only that, but it wasn't the weight. You're right. It was also like, I just wanted to feel more confident. So even though my weight wasn't super high, I still didn't feel confident. I didn't feel like I was toned or wasn't like super lean. Um, and now I'm like, I got some arms. Okay. Like I've never had that. <laughs> right. So, and you also had, you had some dreams and things about, uh, with your travel and stuff. I was listening to your why video, um, not yeah. too long ago. So what's your big dreams with, uh, all of that? Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, like I love to travel, um, probably my biggest passion and I want to get to 30 countries by the time I'm 30 years old. I also want to go to all the continents. Um, awesome. but a lot of the places I've gone, I like take photos and I go back and I'm like, Oh, like, I don't like the way I look. I don't, my arms are too big or I'm too this or I'm too that. And I just don't, I don't feel comfortable. So then I go back and I've got pictures of me at like the Taj Mahal and I'm trying to crop it. And I'm like, I shouldn't be having, like, I should just be enjoying the moment when I'm doing these things and like enjoying these countries I'm going to and enjoying the travel and not feel self-conscious. And so that was a big part of my why is traveling is my big passion. And I wanted to, to truly enjoy it and not be having like, that's just one more thing I don't need to be worried about while I'm doing that. Yeah. And I, I completely agree. I can't stress enough because I've been there before, but so many people who've joined this program, like I think pictures is a big thing for them. You know, like they see people posting their transformation photos and they're like, oh no, I can't do that because they, they don't just don't, they're not comfortable in their own skin. And same thing when they go to the beach or they're doing family events or even the holiday season, it's just like photos just seems to be like such a huge thing for people to be able to look in the mirror, look at the photos and just love what you see there. And that's just such a powerful thing. So Going back, this was your second challenge that you finished, but going way, 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 way back when you first started, uh, what your because you didn't you didn't know what we were about, you didn't know how this was going to work. What was your biggest fear, I guess, or biggest thing that you thought that you weren't going to be able to do? Yeah, um, for me, nutrition has always been hard because mm -hmm. I was like, oh, do I need to cut out carbs? Do I not need to? And I thought that was kind of like what I needed to do. And obviously, here at Rough, that's not the goal, um, and so. For me, it was like, oh, eat more food, eat more protein, eat more carbs. And I'm like, I'm trying to lose weight, guys. Like, what are you doing? Like, so I think for me, it was just getting nervous about how much I was supposed to eat and like how much protein and just didn't know if I'd be able to hit that. But also, I'm sure you have seen I'm a super competitive person. So if my goals, if my task says you better hit this number every day, I'm going to hit it every day. Like, I'm not going to be happy till I get a little gold star there. So I just make sure I hit it, whether I have to sit and eat it spoonful of ranch like I'm gonna figure out how to get my fats like I'm gonna do it well and that's what I said like I even said that in the announcement video like how much like every aspect of this thing like when we gave you a task when we gave you something to do it was like that competitiveness came out and you're like it's like if I'm gonna do macros I'm gonna do it 110 percent if I'm gonna do these workouts I'm gonna do it 100 percent if I'm gonna do a freaking wall sit for this mini challenge I'm gonna hit like the the closest person to me is three minutes but what was it like a 15 20 minute wall sit you did 15 and a half, I think. Yeah, like, it's just like everything you do was always 110%. It wasn't just about beating everybody else. It was about, hey, I want to encourage these people, but I'm also going to push the pace. Like, all I needed to do was five minutes to win, right? That was it. But you wanted to push yourself. You wanted to push your limits and see those things. And that was so awesome. And I love the fact that you came in here and like, that's one of the biggest myths, right? Um, yes, obviously calories in versus calories out. If you're in a caloric deficit, you're going to lose weight, but we always talk about what kind of weight you're going to lose. You know, um, being at a caloric deficit doesn't mean you have to eat a thousand calories. For a lot of people, you can eat 1700 calories and still be in a deficit and eating the right things and fueling yourself. And that fixes your hormones. And me and you have talked about this ex extensively um, on Facebook already, but it's so cool to see it now. Like people see your photos and they're, and you can see, like I was saying in the beginning, like you look like a freaking athlete and your next goal is to have ads. And I'm sure you are well on the way to make that happen, but it's just crazy that people, when they see your photos, and I want to break that myth because when they see your photos, they're like, Ooh, I want to look like Lindsay. I guess I need to eat less. And you've fallen into that trap. That first yep. photo, that before photo was when you were eating less to where yep. you are now. 
Um, so I just think that's just an amazing transformation in what you've been able to accomplish and show people what's actually possible when you follow the program to a T. Because a lot of people come in and they, they, they struggle trusting the process, listening to the coaches. Is this going to work for me long term? And, you know, you, you, you show that. So then the other thing I have to ask, you know, over the last six-ish months, what's been the biggest obstacle for you? Um, was that the biggest obstacle or were there other things that happened during that time? Um, what you think? Yeah. There? So before I start on that, one thing I just want to add on to that last point too, is that I had to get over the weight thing and like trying to lose weight. Cause guys, the difference in those photos is like maybe five pounds and it's just, it doesn't, the weight doesn't matter, you know? Um, so that was the number one thing, but so in terms of obstacles, I think for me, I am kind of on the go a lot. And so I was struggling, like right now I'm in North Carolina and I live in Colorado. So I'm here and my boyfriend's gym, like won't let me use their gym because I'm not on the lease and like COVID rules and things. Yep. So I was like, great. Now I have to work out at home. And then, you know, on the weekend, we're going out with friends and we've literally had, I think five weddings already this season. Um, and so it's just been on the go and trying to keep it as a lifestyle has been the biggest obstacle, mm -hmm. but and that's exactly it, right? Is like making sure it is a lifestyle and something that you can incorporate. So when I'm going to the weddings, I'm not, I didn't take out my scale, but I pre-planned like before I got there, right? I was like, okay, I know we're going to have probably about a five ounce steak and I know we're probably going to have some potatoes. So I just kind of pre-planned and just said, okay, I'm going to eat around that in the earlier part of the day. And so I can enjoy the wedding and then still make, you know, still make it fit my goals. And I'm going to I did the at home workouts instead of the, the weight workouts on the days that I had to. So, well, I think, I, making think it I think you're hitting all the big points here. Like, it amazes me how this just happens because so many people, well, I can't start the challenge yet because I have a wedding coming up or we're going on vacation or we're doing this or you love to travel. Like, you're traveling right now, right? You're not even in Denver right now. Like, the thing is, you guys, that if you can't, join a program that you can do while you're on vacation or at the wedding or be able to take a break from and come back and learn, then it's not sustainable. That's just it. Like the things that you're doing right now, Lindsay, you're going to be able to do for the rest of your life, you know, and that, and it goes to show like, you know, like you said, like when you did keto and stuff, that was great. You got some results till you didn't, but there's no way you're going to go to the wedding and not eat some carbs or be on vacation or do this. And again, it's not enjoying the moment, you know, which is just, so freaking important. And I love what you said also about like how your weight really didn't fluctuate that much, you know, and it's, it's, and again, I ask people all the time, would you rather lose weight or burn fat and build lean muscle? And you're like living proof of all of these things. Uh, so then my other question, I got all the questions for you. I'm just so excited because I've known for, well, I didn't actually know for that long. I chose the winner. I chose you as the winner on Monday and I've spent, you even noticed the, one of the photos I used was from your check-in on yesterday. I don't know if you yeah, realize yeah. that. Um, I literally was editing the video and I was putting last minute edits on there yesterday and I threw in uh, your most recent check-in. Like that's, you guys, like when I tell you like, this isn't just like, like I updated this photo, like Lindsay's still living this. She's still doing this. Yeah. Like it's freaking awesome. So what are your goals um, moving forward? You know, now that you're the champion, that you're doing these things, we have another challenge starting up that you're doing on Monday. What's your yeah. goal moving forward? Um. I want abs. You all know I want abs. <laughs> I want, I don't know, like just, you know, when I'm walking around, people be like, oh, she's pretty fit. Like, I like that. Um, so one is I want abs. Two is I have been hitting my macros, but I don't think that I always do it in the best way. Um, so sometimes I get to the end of the day and I'm like, oh, Cheetos fit in my carbs. Okay. Like I'll eat that. But really I should obviously be filling that with like carrots or something else. So that's my next goal is to really dial in. Like I'm at the point where I'm consistently hitting the macros, but now I just want to be a little more mindful. I do pretty good most of the day. And then I get to the end and I'm like, Ooh, what can I fit in here? Like, and I just want to do better with veggies. I, I think my thing has been ice cream. We have ice creams, me and the kids and Tasha all have ice cream right before we go to bed because it fits. Um, but that does bring me into like this next thing is like Cheetos being one of them, but you know, the fact is, is that you are looking at getting to this next step. And there's always another level, you guys. You know, we start with like the calories, then we have the macros, then we're looking into, well, supplements, but then getting rid of the supplements to fill in with these other things and whole foods. And like, there's always another level. But during this challenge, and you're the champ, you've done all this stuff, being able to enjoy what you eat. What are some of the favorite things that you got to eat and fit into your macros? So 
I have this obsession. I don't know why I have this obsession with funfetti dip. Like it's cake mix and whatever, and you dip animal crackers in it. And I didn't go all out with that, but I instead got these little like animal cracker cookies that are iced. They're for like four-year-olds, but I love them. Um, so that. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? The white and the pink. I know exactly what you're talking about. That's why I'm laughing. Like you, I love that you're like, they're for four-year-olds, but I love them. <laughs> yes. Um, those, I, I have like the little snack pack bags of them. I make them fit all the time. Um, sometimes some ice cream, like steak is not a difficult one because it's just carbs or just proteins and fats, but I love steak. So I, we have steak all the time in our house. Um, so just stuff like that, just enjoying. And the nice part is I can kind of eat whatever I just can only eat different portions of it right obviously I can't have a whole pint of ice cream which I used to be able to do but um <laughs> yeah well, and that's the thing like when you start setting these goals for yourself like nobody told you hey you can't eat the ice cream like you probably could have eaten a pint of ice cream every single day it just would have taken up all your carbs and fats right, right. like you naturally made those decisions on your own because you had goals and those, look, I always tell people the sacrifice and the hard work always pays off. It's the same thing. Like we've had people, you know, they're like, oh, well, I want to make wine fit, or I want to make you had Cheetos. I make ice cream. Like we've had people do pizza. We've had like, you name it and people fit it, but it's about the moderations and learning yep. how much of those things you're allowed to have, you know, and that's what makes the biggest difference. So Lindsay, I have, I have one last big question as we get ready for this next challenge. I've already gotten so many messages. I know there's so many people have been commenting on your video and stuff. Um, but people are, are going to want to know, like, if you had some advice for them, they're just getting started or they want the confidence or they want like, what's my first step or how am I going to do this? Or how do I accomplish what you accomplish? What's some advice you can give them as we get ready for this next challenge? Yeah, I think trusting the program for one, because not that I questioned, but I was like, you want me to eat more, but lose weight? But I'm like, I'll trust you guys. I don't know if you remember, but I was like, if you're telling me, I will trust you. That's fine. Um, so one is just like, trust the process, trust your coaches. Um, they know, you know, what's best and just kind of like communicate with them and say, you know, I don't, this doesn't feel right for me. Can we adjust this way? And just kind of be, have that open communication. Um, you're going to be the best advocate for yourself and like going to your coach and saying, this is how I'm feeling. This is what I'm thinking about this, but also nobody else can put the work in for you. So if you're, signing up for this program that's a great first step but you have to be willing to commit like if you're for me I wasn't going to sign up for this program and then not hit my macros because yep. like that doesn't help me you know um and I get like it's a it's a challenge maybe to get there at first and you need to work up to it but I think just really making it a priority and saying okay I've signed up for this program and I've proved to myself that I want this and this is a priority so so really, truly make that a priority. Yeah. And, and I love that. And that kind of gets me, I have one more question and stuff. We were talking about like being honest, communicating, talking to your coach and stuff and tell them how you're feeling. That's such an important thing. Like at the end of the day, people, they want to join the program and be like, okay, tell me what to eat. It doesn't work that way. You know, tell me what workout program you get. Like even when you get in the rough app, there's four different programs to choose from, right? Like on top of like, if you're doing something outside of that, um, did you have any times in the last six months, I'm sure you have, but any that you can recall right now of like, a bad week or a hard time or a time you didn't want to check in, but you did anyways. And you're glad that you did. Yeah. I mean, all the time, <laughs> I don't, not all the, not all the time, but like sometimes for me for the gym is like, I don't actually have the motivation to go to the gym. I just make it a routine. And so if that's the first thing I do when I wake up and if I'm already sleeping in my workout clothes, okay. Like I'm already, the first thing I gotta do is get myself in the car. That's easy. Right. Mm -hmm. Then I just got to drive. That's easy. I got to walk into the gym. Okay. Now that I'm here, now I got to work out. So sometimes that was a challenge for me, but I had it like, I mean, this part wasn't during the challenge, but this last week I ate like absolute crap. When I told Haley and I was like, I don't even know why I'm checking in this week because I have eaten, you know, I've eaten nothing good. Um, but she, you know, it was just kind of like, okay, well, I'll just get back on track on Monday. It's fine. Like it's no big deal on the next day. Like Yep. Well, and that's oh. such a big thing. I feel like, and the, the important thing is that you still checked in and you've had multiple bad days or bad weeks. And I feel like people think that over the last six months, the results you've gotten, they think like, oh, well, Lindsay's just like been crushing it every single day. And we talk about how competitive you are and doing things 110%, but sometimes your 110% is just showing up to the gym, just yeah. checking in, even though you had a bad week. And so many people, they fall off and they feel like, oh, I'm out of it. 
oh, I'm out yeah. and I can't win. And you didn't even expect to win, right? But the fact is that you had those bad weeks, you had those bad days and you still said, okay, I'm just gonna get on back track next week. I'm gonna get back on track the week after that and keep moving forward, you know? Yeah. And that's, that's the thing is like, don't let it spiral. Cause if I like who I used to be would be, oh, I've had a bad day. What's one more. And then the next day you're like, well, I'll finish out this weekend and just, you know, keep having fun this weekend. And then you get to the start of next week. And you're like, okay, one more week. So it's, it's just getting yourself back on track. So for me, um, most of my, really only my cheat days at the end of the two challenges that we did that Sunday being like the day after the challenge was done, I was like, I'm not tracking. I'm not like, I don't care what I eat. I'm just going to do whatever. But tomorrow on Monday, I'm back in it. So it's one day, like I'm giving myself one day and that is it. Um, and it was like, it's kind of nice because I just went and got like obnoxious Sundays that I didn't need to eat and things that would not have fit in my macros, but you know, it's, you have to have some moderation too. So it's just that the consistency that you have during the challenges or the consistency that you have most days, you can have one, you know, a one-off day here and there, and it's not going to hurt your goals as long as you get right back on it. Well, and that's where we talk about like earn your cookie, right? Like so many people, they work out so hard and do everything perfect for six weeks all to say, oh, I got these results and now I can do whatever I want. And it doesn't work right. that way. With all the consistency you have, you have more of these days where you're putting the work to where when you have that one day off, it's not going to affect you. You're still going to look awesome. You're still going to be on the process of getting abs and doing all these things and crushing it. And that one day, even probably two days, even if you had a week off, like how many people spend three days off and they look at the scale and it goes up two pounds and they give up. Like, oh, I can't do this. And it just doesn't work that way. So I think that's extremely inspiring for so many people. And it's crazy how much you remind me of myself because when I first started getting into the journey, um, I did the same thing as far as discipline and motivation. I'm like, I don't care what happens today. I have to go to the gym. You know, like if I'm just not in the mood, I have to go to the gym and I'll just walk on the treadmill. At the bare minimum, I'll do two minutes walking on the treadmill and leave. That's it. But I have to go to the gym. I cannot say I'm going to work out at home. I cannot say I'm going to go outside for a walk. I need to go physically to the gym. And if it's just two minutes walk and leave because I'm busy, so be it. And sure enough, I get to the gym with the mindset of I'm just going to walk for two minutes and I'm walking. I'm like, okay, I can do five minutes. Like five minutes is going to be hard. And then I look, I'm like, oh, there's weights. I just do like a set of arms because I like arms real quick. Then I'll go do arms. I'm like, okay. And then all of a sudden I'm in the mood. And then you end up freaking crushing it. And that's just kind of where the discipline comes in and, and sticking with it. So I think that's that's great advice, Lindsay. So um, other than that, any, I guess, last words, it doesn't look like we have any questions or anything, but any last words or anything that you want to say to everybody in the rough family and being the, the newest champion? Um, I think just sincere thank you to the entire rough family because there were days where it's like, you know, the posts that people have or the extra motivation that the group is giving, the extra accountability, it really pushed me. Um, like I said, I am competitive, so I'm competitive with myself, but I'm you know, like seeing other people post things or seeing other people being like, Hey, we got this together. I'm like this, you know, it's helpful. So I just appreciate everyone, um, in the rough fam. Yeah, girl. Um, well, I really do appreciate you. I know that you're about to be headed on the road, so I don't want to take up too much more of your time, but thank you so much, Lindsay. Uh, congratulations again. And thank we'll you. very, very, very soon. I am sure. Uh, right. later, friend. bye.